So then I was driving north with the sunset to my left and it was really pretty just wide open plain with the sunset like right in the middle and there was like cloud formations and this is some something that I don't think I've ever seen anything like this they kind of come in in streaks like this and in streaks like this and the Sun is right here and they're like woven into where the Sun is setting and that's all like pink and orange so it was really hard not to like stare at that when I'm driving I kept like kind of looking over I wanted to take a photo but I was like that's not a good idea maybe I could pull over and do it but that's not gonna happen so I also kind of didn't think it was worth pulling over because I like on the camera it's gonna be so small I, by the time I take the time to do all that uh, the Sun is still setting I don't know if I'm it's even gonna be worth the photo so I just kept going and I saw flash and cherries behind me like back on the horizon and it looks like a, it's definitely an emergency vehicle it's definitely on like the same way that I'm going on the interstate he's definitely behind me but he doesn't seem to be gaining on me at all and he looks tall so maybe it's an ambulance or uh like real tall like it could be a fire truck but i'm like this is probably an ambulance and it just never it never caught up to me really and i just kind of kept going i was cautiously like passing semis or whatever making sure that i've got enough room to get around that it, but he was way behind and uh and i'm also still kind of looking at the sunset and whatnot and it starts to get down to where it's not displaying the oranges and pinks anymore it's just kind of fading away and the guy's still behind me and i i was kind of behind a semi like this and we swing around a turn like that left turn and all of a sudden comes into view this big blazing fucking fire and thick smoke blowing this way over the road so I, I didn't see that at all like at all until we like literally kind of swooped around it's, it's like flat everywhere that's why I don't understand we must have just kind of come around a hump enough big fucking blazing fire with big smoke plume coming across the sky and right in front of it right in the center is a big ass billboard so there's flames like a like a building is fucking blazing and a billboard right in front of it blue that says christ jesus come into the world to save sinners <laughs> <laughs> blew my fucking mind and I uh, I just wish that I had a dash cam because that was a that was a once in a lifetime event so the city I'm staying in is Ottawa and I had to ask uh, one of the guys at the stores how to even pronounce it because I was like Onawa. But then I noticed that coming back to my hotel after work, the I always have the GPS on and I have my phone mounted on a little magnet, like a, it's a steel ball with a thing so it can kind of swivel. And uh, she will dictate to me when to take my uh, exit and she pronounces it at the end of the word it cuts off abruptly and I really like the way it sounds but the exit is also for Decatur Nebraska which on the sign is NEB she says Ottawa Decatur Neb so uh, as I approached Ottawa tonight after this epic fire and epic sunset I decided to just start recording once I approached my exit and I caught the uh, sound of her saying that and then I, I always have it up like this the phone 
on the mount. I was like, man, I would, that would. I wonder if my phone, like camera, is actually on the side enough to where I could rotate it, and it was literally perfect, so I could use that as a dash cam if I want. So that's pretty sweet.
burned down or there's uh, a bunch of trees right in that area. Okay, so in doing a little bit of research here about this abandoned sitgo, uh, it appears to be the last uh, sitgo in use, or last stuckies in Iowa. The closing date is unknown, but it was open in 1992. The property was registered in 85 and dissolved in 96, both in August, by, I guess, uh, Stuckey's or Sitco from Eastman, Georgia. Stuckey's of Little Sioux Incorporated. The last operational Sitco or last operational Stuckies in the state. I'm gonna have to say Stuckies. Known for its pecan log rolls and iconic blue roof. The Stuckies chain peaked with 350 locations in the 70s. This is somewhat ironic because out of the blue before I took this work trip I picked up a pecan roll at Orshelin, some hardware store. I just decided to pick one up and I brought it with me and I had it in the freezer in my motel. And I'm pretty sure I ate that the night after I saw the blaze. So that's kind of cool. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Oh, I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it. Yeah, that's definitely burnt to a fucking crisp. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I don't think the bird or building. Yeah, I think the building burned down. God, I want to turn in there. Oh my goodness gracious goodness. Oh. 
holy shit knockers. Holy shit and pissins. Can I drive in here? Yeah. Fucking find out, mate. Beach. Let's see, look at the speed limit here. I still see some smoke. It's kind of fucking scary. I'm not gonna get out or anything. I, I was kind of thinking about it, but we're just gonna turn this bitch around. The old sit go. Sit go is what it was. I wonder if we can catch some of that smoke. Because it's right there. side of this brick part on the foundation you can see smoking a little bit the ditch is fucking burnt up trees and shit get out but it, I don't feel like that's a good idea <laughs> I probably should not even be driving back in here but I also feel like nobody gonna be around I've seen a couple of cars just kind of driving by but all right let's get the fuck out of here Nothing. Back on South Twenty Nine. Driving. Somebody done the wrong thing. Unfortunately, you can't see that billboard from here, but I mean, I can see the back of it. Put this bitch away and get my GPS going here. So, sayonara!